Looking Farm with Edda. It's Podcast Edo, back at it again with another episode of Talking Fun with Edo. And we have the Q&A special with Zip Flicky. And I just want to say thank you all for sending in your questions. And now, let's jump into the Q&A. Hello, everyone. It's Podcast Edo. And with the Q&A special with Zip Flicky. Hi, I'm Zipski. Um, you can call me Zipper Short. I'm a storytime animator and a YouTube shorts creator. Uh, I'm also a VTuber now. Yay! Yay! So, um, I know it's been a little while for us for this to be put together from the posts and stuff, but, you know, me, we both really worked hard on this. So, now we're going to get into the Q&A part. So, here we go. Yay! Yay! Hello, everyone. It's me and Zip in another location about to answer the Q and A. So the first Q and A that we got is from Mr. Rich TV, and he has asked, "What is your favorite book that you like to read?" So, what are my favorite books that I like to read? Uh, I like to read a lot of girly mangas. So basically like Car Catcher Sakura, Tokyo Mew Mew. Uh, there's a few others, uh, like Kiss Him Not Me. Uh, they're all great shoujo manga that I like to read on my day-to-day -day basis. Um, a lot of them are older manga as well. Uh, I'm kind of not interested in the new manga that are coming out nowadays. It feels like a lot of copy and paste. So. That's my favorite type of drama. It's ba basically shoujo manga. Next is from the Ang Pang 18, and he has asked, what is your favorite hobby? You know, I don't really have many hobbies. Uh, the only thing I like to do is basically draw. On my free time, I do like to do 3D modeling, um, but that's rare on a rare occasion. Um, also, if I'm procrastinating, I like to do 3D modeling. So that's my side hobby is 3D modeling. Um, I don't really do much. I don't go outside much. I don't have, I haven't touched grass in a while now. I've seen grass, but I haven't touched grass. Grass doesn't like me and I don't like grass. Next is Kids the Productions and they have asked, are there more favorite cartoons, kid movies, and TV shows that you like to share with us than what you have given us from the last time? I have a long list of my favorite cartoons. Um, a few of them that I'm currently re-watching right now is actually Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, I'm re-watching The Owl House as well. Uh, I really just like watching really old shows from my childhood. So basically, on top of that, I think my favorite would be Kone's Kid Next Door, K and D, which again, Kone Kid Next Door. <laughs> I'm an operative of the K and D. I can't say how long I've been an operative of the K and D, but yeah, I'm a, I'm an operative of Kone Kid Next Door. I'm an also a big fan of Billy and Mandy. So I'm essentially a Cartoon Network kid in, in the lightest sense. Next is Splashdown Dolphin. And he has asked, what is your favorite color? What are my favorite colors? I like all the colors, but my favorite colors are blue, brown, gold, white, black. What is my color palette again? Those are my favorite colors. Whatever my color palette is for this character, it is my favorite color. There, there, there's a lot of colors in this, and I can't keep track of them all. And as you can see, my favorite color is right here, which is green. Next question is from Splash McQueen Frog, and he has asked, is there any food that you are allergic to? 
Am I allergic to anything? I am allergic to pumpkin, cucumber. I also think I'm allergic to Tylenol. No, not, I'm not allergic to Tylenol. I'm allergic to aspirin. So, <laughs> you just got my whole medical history in under a minute. Interesting. And like I've said previously from the Rib and Malik Q&A, it's uh, more likely um, red dye. And even though I could possibly eat it now, I'm just like choosing not to really eat it. So... I'm also allergic to fresh cut lawn. I don't like grass and grass does not like me. The next is from Fritz the Frog and he has asked, do you play any video games? And if so, what are your favorites? Do I play any video games? So I don't really play much video games anymore. Um, the only video games that I probably would be playing right about now is just Pokemon and Legend of Zelda. Um, I'm gonna try to do a bunch of other games, but it's basically I'm, I'm trying to enjoy video games more. Uh, I lost interest in it in a like a long time ago. I think the last time I actually picked up a video game uh, was 10 years ago. And I have my reasons. I may sure that I mainly focus on art instead of playing games so now that I'm more calmer and relaxed and like I'm able to play games uh, I find myself more enjoying playing Pokemon and Legend of Zelda any puzzle dungeon game that gets my brain fed then it's great Lian Chen has asked are you able to have pets at this time and if so what type of pet would you like to have so I'm not allowed to have pets. So instead, I have squishmallows. There's a lot of squishmallows. They're they are my pets. They are my babies. Um, yeah. When you live in a place where that doesn't allow pets, um, you get used to not getting a pet anymore. If I had a pet, I would want a lizard, though. I also remember the time that we had a pet as well. Not sponsored from my book. But uh, from what the pets I had was uh, a dog that was an Akita and a German Shepherd. And my little sister had a rabbit. So next question we got is from Ty the Chuggineer. And has asked, since you live in California, I was wondering if you've been to any Disney theme parks. And if so, what is your favorite ride? Yeah, since I do live in California and Disneyland is here, fun fact, I've never been to Disneyland. Um, <laughs> I've been to California Adventure, but I've never been to Disneyland. And I don't really, I feel like Disneyland is a little overrated, in my opinion. Um, but that's, I think that's pretty much me. Um, I'm not really a amusement park person. So, I'm not really, well, I am a fan of roller coasters, but I just don't really have a favorite ride or anything. So, and it's been literally 10 years since I've been to Disneyland. So, I don't know anything about new attractions or whatever. It's just, I'm not really into music parts like that. James Gilbert has asked, is there any state in the United States that you would like to go to? And on that note, is there a country you would like to go outside of the U.S.? There's not any place in the U.S. that I would want to go to. Uh, I like being in the West Coast. Uh, I wouldn't go out east only because like it's kind of expensive traveling now. Unless I'm getting to buy it somewhere, then I'm not going to like travel out there. But I am saving my money either to go to Canada or Japan or the, I definitely want to go to the UK. I want to see London. I want I, I don't really want to see France, but I just want to see London for sure. Um, Iceland, Scotland, all those little tiny states and not tiny states, but little tiny countries in the UK, I want to see. Um, but other than that, the US is just America. We've, we've seen out that's America already. I'm tired of America. Paula Krieger has asked if you are still doing live streams on YouTube. 
Am I going to still live stream? I don't have a choice at this point. Uh, I've had this YouTube model for over a year now and I have not yet to start live streaming. Um, I have my reasons. Uh, I finally got my own place and everything. So now I can fully commit to doing some live streams and feeling more comfortable talking to you guys live. So uh, expect that maybe like more October is. So, for spooky month. Second to last question that we got is from Gluten Ghana Mascot, and they have asked if you speak other languages such as Spanish, Italian, German, and French, and do you play soccer, aka football? Do I speak any other language? No, I speak only English, and I'm very terrible at English. So. Yeah, I don't speak another language. English is my first language and I'm very terrible at it. I I don't know how to spell. I don't know how to do grammar. But, you know, I speak it. <laughs> Last question we got is from Ruby the Pony. And she has asked if you had a chance to see if Imaginary Friends, Kung Fu Panda 4, Garfield of 2024, Inside Out 2, and Saving Bikini Bottom, the fourth SpongeBob movie. So what is my favorite movie that I watched currently? Inside Out. Um, that movie has been a very... One, it's been a wake-up call. I actually watched Inside Out from when it first started, like literally 10 years ago. And I've been a fan ever since. I love Inside Out. I love the whole idea of going through a person's minds. Uh, it made me realize that like, if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would probably want to do therapy. Um, specifically psychological therapy. But I feel like I would have to do it on myself. Um, I I really do like just Pixar movies because they make me cry. Uh, like all Pixar movies has made me cry. So um, that's all my favorite movies that I've like like ever watched is just Pixar movies. Um, my top favorite movie of all time would be Brandy and Cinderella. Um, you could put that on and I'll watch it regardless. I watched it multiple times and I know every song and every word to it. So um that's my kind of thing when it comes to movies and whatnot i really do just re-watch a bunch of stuff and sometimes if it really like connects to me it's always pixar thanks for answering zip and now we're going to go to our outro into another section welcome back everybody from the q a's and thanks for all the questions that you have asked for Zip. So now there is a few questions I would like to ask from uh, what we did last time. Mm -hmm. So from the first interview, I was wondering if you have heard of these YouTuber animators from before or just now. And some of them, they're pretty new too. So mm -hmm. here's the list. So here we go. Is um, Impacts. Toonsies, Arrow Stories, Dominique's, Specials, and the new ones I've added was Sir Palo, The Poopy Show, Offending Everybody, Crab Finelli, and Salt. I do know a few of the animators that you speak of. Uh, Sir Palo is one of them. Mm. I am a fan of his. Um, I am familiar with a couple of those names i've seen them around on my youtube recommendations and i'm very impressed about what i've seen so far in the youtube animation scene in next generation in a sense so i'm very excited to see what's coming forth in the last 10 years so. nice so next thing i was wondering is um from the youtubers that we talk about and vtubers especially with shy lily and everyone else i was wondering if you had a chance to interact with them from last time, if you got a chance to. No, I'm mainly a, just a quote unquote VTuber fan. Uh, I use a VTuber as a formal way to do content creation. So in a sense, I'm not really on that like field or spectrum with everybody. So that's pretty much just how I am. I keep to myself as a VTuber. 
And one of our second to last questions I got was, um, I was wondering from last time if you got a chance to see my Japanese and Asian reports. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a few of them and I really do like them. Mm. And I was, I had a few questions. Oh, okay. and I, I just, I, 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 I didn't think you read out this question, actually. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> I, I, I skipped over it. It's just like, I was just like, all oh, these are cool. Mm. Um, the reason I mentioned it was because um, I've kind of updated them recently with the, mm -hmm. not only the Hokkaido votes, but what I recently made earlier this year, which was the, um, which ones was the favorites and turns out when i did it it was a hell project hello project became number one on the list oh that's so cool and one of the last things i have is for this is from the last time that we talked i was wondering how much has changed from last time and are you making any new projects this time around um, this time around, we are, what's funny is we are heading into the fourth quarter for YouTube right now. Mm. Um, a lot has changed within, I think the last time I talked to you was what, I think like two years ago. No, no it, was it, about was, a, <laughs> it was about a year ago. Yeah, uh, winter it was about holiday a whole, time. Yeah, it was about a whole year ago. Uh, I think I was sitting at like 700 subscribers at the time, mm -hmm. but now we're at a million. Um, mm. We're almost close to 1.50 million. Um, which is very interesting in a sense. Um, I did have to take a step back due to like you know mental health, doing move, getting yeah. sick. It's a lot. It's a. It's been a lot of. It's been a lot these last eight months, and a lot of people are wondering where I went or if I right, fell right. off. I just needed that break. I needed that step back to fully understand what I want to do because at the time I did not know what I wanted to do. Um. Oh my God! I still sound sick. No, no, no. It's okay. Like um, <laughs> um. But I do have projects coming up for the next year, basically. So fourth quarter, basically October, November, December is just get out as many shorts as I possibly can to get back on track the way I want to be. Mm -hmm. And then next year, I could probably implement Plan B like I wanted to this year, but. You know, the universe had this timing. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. So, mm. but yeah, that's a lot of things that's changed. Um, I feel like I've grown as a person as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a lot. It's all good. And um, now we, after all that has happened, we now have to say our farewell. So see you later. Bye-bye. I hope you all enjoyed the Q&A special with Zip once again. And on that note, the shout out goes to Jam Reacts, Ender Reacts, Team Black Knuckles, Starstorm Animation, Keat, Kalito, One Nation Hip Hop TV, Colbert, Nicholas Nameless, Moopaverse, Nicholas Live and Dark TV, Rosa Rue, Freeable, Paul Claire, Alan Tajako, As Miscap, The Chris Lotus, Juyuna, Big Slab Johnson, Righteous Robot, Split, Jeremy Parrish Video Works, XO Zero, Multidastic, Nax, Zagzatet, Childish Juju, and JL Colion. Like I said, thank you all for watching. And new stuff will not only be coming up for the podcast channel once again, but also my main channel as well. And as usual, I'll see you all next time. And goodbye. Talking from with Edda.
So, Zip, so the thing that's coming out very soon is my mom's 61st birthday. And, Cool. yeah, and for also another group that started around the same time, not, not when my mom was born, but they I started feel like about age around, range. <laughs> huh? I think about age range. I think, she, I think if I remember, she was third, 40, 40, 39, something like that. I, like I said, my editing self will check for this, but right around this time, and the group is called Flame. So Mm -hmm. this group started like in 2001 on her birthday from, I believe, 2008 or 2015. And I was wondering if you have like a message for her for, for her birthday coming up. Happy birthday, Monica. I hope you have a great day. Um, you are still young. You're still in your prime. We, you are going to laugh a long, very long time, just so that you know. Um, you know, take care of yourself on this day. This day is a, is a giving to, on earth. Your son is doing the best that he can. <laughs> your son is doing the best that he can. And... We as 30-year-old millennials, we appreciate our older parents for giving us the wisdom and taking the time out of their day to help us when needed. Sure, you guys are tough on us, but we respect you and love you regardless. So, Wow. happy birthday! That's nice. And so, with that, here is the surprise for you.